Asylum seekers are packing up and moving out. This is one of the 50 hotels the government said it would close to migrants to save taxpayers money. It pledged to move them to cheaper types of accommodation like the Bibby Stockholm Barge. But we've found out that's not what's happening. Instead, in many places, they're simply being taken to other hotels. What's happening right now? Where, where are these men going? These guys are moving from this hotel to another hotel, um, a bit further up north. We watched as they left Kidderminster in taxis, then arrived 70 miles away at this hotel in Derbyshire, where they'll now be staying. What we've just witnessed will mean the Home Office can say another migrant hotel has been closed. But as we've seen, the migrants will still be being housed in a hotel at the taxpayers' expense, just a different hotel an hour and a half away from where they were staying. For Khan, it means losing his college place as it's too far to travel. He had expected to be out of taxpayer-funded accommodation by now, as he's been here so long, his claim is part of the so-called legacy backlog the government says it's dealt with. Around two years I'm in here. I want to work, I want to start a new life for us. Hallow's been in the UK even longer. The hotel where he was staying closed to migrants last week. So he was moved 40 miles away to this hotel in Staffordshire with a group of men. Switching, so it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. Just wa wasting money, I think. So why do you think you've been moved? I think it's just for because of the next election. So they want to tell the native uh, people we, we sorted out the hotels. Children lost school places when this hotel suddenly closed to migrants and they were moved away. The Home Office says it's making significant progress to reduce the £8.2 million a day hotel bill. But the people in the hotels say they just want decisions on their asylum claims so they can move out and move on. Becky Johnson, Sky News.